Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So, the Cybertruck has already got over 45 million views just between the views from Top Gear, Hagerty, MKs, BHD, and Kawao. And that is, of course, without all us small YouTubers reacting to all of these videos and the delivery event itself and the many millions of views Tesla's own videos have on the Cybertruck. But we are, of course, not done yet. As Jay Leno had yet to test drive the beast and had a talk with both Lars and Franz. And boy, did we get a lot of gold in this video as well that we have not got confirmation on before. And Sandy Monroe also just toured the production line of the Cybertruck. And once again, Sandy's mind was blown. It's not coated, this is it? aluminum bronze? Yeah, like the whole. The and whole you difference. can stamp with it? There is simply nothing like the Cybertruck, and everything is pointing at this will be a huge success for Tesla. If they can handle the huge demand Tesla sees for this beast. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So I highly recommend you to watch both Sandy Monroe's and Jay Leno's videos. So much great stuff in this video, link down below. But firstly, to all the people that think Cybertruck will only be a niche product, France just confirmed that Tesla does have over 2 million pre-orders. Yeah, it's uh, over 2 million deposits. Really? $100 for a deposit. Yeah. We knew this because of the Cybertruck Owners Club reservation tracker, but nice to get a confirmation from France for all the haters out there thinking this will only be a truck for Silicon Valley people. But with over 2 million reservation, it is by far the most pre-ordered vehicle in history. And the runner-up was the Model 3 with just about 400,000 pre-orders. So there has never been anything like the Cybertruck, whether you're talking about the look of the truck, the pre-orders of the truck, or the engineering of the truck. So to think this will not sell well, when you can get something you cannot get from anyone else. This is the fastest pickup truck the world has ever seen. It has the best clearance of any pickup truck. It's the toughest truck ever built on a whole new 48 volt architecture, steer by wire. Yeah, nobody's going to want this beast, right? <laughs> so boring. And they also showed off all the different drive modes that Tesla has in the Cybertruck. So they tried to make it easy for you to adjust the driving dynamics of the car, where you can just tell the car what kind of surface you want, like all purpose, sand, gravel, or rock. And Tesla has made sure your car's dynamics is correctly set up to handle those kinds of surfaces. And one more thing Tesla has made that we have heard about, but last explained in James Leonard's videos, was the Wade mode, where Tesla has made this scooper package that seals the battery for going through deep water. The Cybertruck can easily drive to 2.5 feet of water, or 76 centimeters of deep water, without water coming into the cabin, which uses a new technology where it is using the Cybertruck's built-in air compressor it uses for the air suspension to pressurize the battery and is all enabled by a single push of a button on the touchscreen. And as Lars said, you could in theory put a little electric outboard motor on the back of the Cybertruck powered by the 240 volt outlet and use it as a boat. Can't wait to see the first person try to test this out. But all of these driving features with the biggest air suspension in the industry is also what sets the Cybertruck apart. As you can have it in comfort mode or sport mode and in the city it will drive like a normal car. But you can, if you want to, go off-road with the highest clearance of any pickup truck on the market. So as Franz said, normally you buy a pickup truck that is 
really good for off-road capability or have really big suspension to carry a lot of big stuff but it will not do very well as a normal everyday car and if you buy a pickup truck that is made to be just a normal car it's not really meant to go off-road but with the Saber truck, you get one of the most capable off-road pickup trucks out on the market. And with the biggest clearance and biggest travel between low and high clearance with the air suspension. And you can go through deep waters, no problem. But you will also get something that will work basically as a big SUV for your family. Also because the bed of the truck also works as a real trunk as it is a completely 100% lockable bed with more than 2,800 liters of cargo space or about 100 cubic feet and combined with the sub trunk under the bed and the 200 liters or 7.1 cubic feet in the front as well the cyber truck is up there with some of the biggest SUVs that have the most cargo space in the world this truck will serve very well as a big family SUV and will be driving very well on normal roads and be more maneuverable than any of the huge SUV that comes close to it in cargo space as they don't have steer by wire on all four wheels. And at the same time, the Cybertruck has so much power it will beat a 911 down the drag strip. And you don't have to worry about getting door dings at the parking lot as this beast doesn't dent or rust, which also makes it a perfect pickup truck for commercial use as you don't have to worry about your pretty paint or rust. And it is the most maneuverable pickup truck around a construction site. But as France also said, they see a lot of people that would never before had thought of buying a pickup truck, putting down a reservation for the cyber truck. And I would be one of those people. I have never looked twice at a pickup truck. They are hardly a thing here in Europe, right? The only ones that get a pickup truck in Europe is the ones that actually need a pickup truck, like a farmer or a construction company. But seeing a pickup truck in my country is kind of a rare thing. I have never thought of a pickup truck as a cool vehicle or something I would ever get. And when I saw the Cybertruck for the first time, I thought it looked cool. Not pretty, but cool. But I didn't think it was something I would get because it was just too much, right? But after seeing all this beast can do and just how utilitarian this vehicle is and all the new tech inside of it and how it handles almost like a sports car, but can also do off-road and even be a good family car. Now, I want one, as there is nothing that I wouldn't be able to do with this truck. I could use it as a family car, check. Going on skiing trips, check. Taking garbage to the recycling site, check. Going on road trips, even off the road, anywhere in Europe, check. It would be the most fun vehicle on the planet to own. Nothing comes close. So yeah, I do understand why this vehicle has 2 million reservation, as it is the perfect commercial pickup truck. It's also a good big family SUV. It's the perfect road trip car, no matter where you want to go. And even if you like fast cars, well, you will still be the first off the starting line with the Cybertruck. It will be the 911, and it's only 0.6 seconds slower than the 3.5 a million dollar supercar, the Bugatti Chiron. Yeah, nothing is like the Cybertruck, and it is the most utilitarian vehicle on the planet. So, of course, it will appeal to many people. Pickup truck guys and non pickup truck guys alike. So, you might not like the look of it, but that does not mean that not many people will buy it. That only means you might not buy it but two million reservation does not lie. So the only demand problem Tesla has with this vehicle is they have too much demand, as it will take like eight years with 250,000 units produced every year to go through the pre-orders. And I think a lot more people want one now than four years ago when it came out, and I'm one of them. So how Tesla will handle this demand of handling 2 million reservation. We have to wait and see, as this will not 
be easy. But Tesla also revealed all the cool stuff we had speculated about and Tesla teased before at Investor Day when they said they would still do some cool shit. And apparently, Tesla is still working on the wireless charging, so we don't even have to plug in our Teslas anymore. So that is very exciting, and maybe the Cybertruck is ready for this technology. Who knows? But Sandy also came out with yet another great video about the Cybertruck, as Lars took him on a tour down the production line of the Cybertruck. And again, Sandy's mind was blown many times, as many of the things Tesla is doing in the Cybertruck production line has never been done before. So so much of this is completely new technology. But one thing Lars also said that is pretty cool to hear was that he told Sandy that you can see that we are pretty much ready to rock and roll and get to volume production going. They are just taking it slow to iron out any issues they come across to make sure they get the quality right. As you can see with all the equipment, we're ready to roll at like high volume. Now it's yeah. just like, how do we ramp, you know, go slow, get quality right? Yeah. So I still hear people saying they will never make this in higher volume. I think these people are in for a big surprise. And as Lars and Franz said, they would never have been able to make such a radical new design with all the new technologies in this car with any other later than Elon Musk. Only Elon would be willing to take a chance with the Cybertruck's futuristic design and come out with a vehicle that is completely new technology all the way through and pushing their employees to come out with something this special. So like I said before, no other car manufacturer on the planet would be able to build the Cybertruck as of now, as they don't even know how to. Too much new technology in this car and the new production method like air bending stainless steel, 40 volt architecture, steer by wire, completely new inventor stainless steel alloy that only Tesla has the recipe for. So they don't have to fear any competition for the Cybertruck for many years as the others firstly has to find out how Tesla is even doing all of this. Just so impressive. As Elon said, they would be head and shoulders above anyone else in manufacturing this is their goal. And the Cybertruck is proof of exactly that. No one else can even build the Cybertruck but Tesla. And the demand is off the chart as Elon said. I have no doubt that the Cybertruck will be a huge success for Tesla. Not so much for GM and Ford. It's like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how when you get that torque in the front, it oh. just crawls up and over those yeah. rocks. It doesn't even care. Amazing. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>